Okay, so here's the uh, mostly printed CNC machine. Um, so today I'm going to be doing the electrics. Um, so the controller that I'm going to be using is the Arduino Uno here with the uh, Protonear um, CNC shield on it. And there's the three stepper motor drivers. Uh, these are just those uh, cheap generic ones. I think these are like 60 pence each or something off um, eBay. No, it wasn't. It was banggood.com. <coughs> um, and input voltage comes in here and I'm supplying it with 16 volts from this power supply unit here so now I'm just going to hook the uh, cables up um, hopefully this should be pretty much set up because the last project that I was using this for was using the same um, 16 toothed uh, pulleys so it should be pretty much set up and uh, let's get to wiring it up right so since um both X axis motors and both Y axis motors both need to be wired in parallel. I've actually made these little cables here. Actually, just got two males on and a female and sold them in a Y. So that means then I can connect this one here onto the Arduino board and then I can plug these this one here into one side of the x-axis motor and this into the other x-axis motor and then make the connections that way because at the moment this is just a temporary um, wiring job so I'm just making the connections on the motor Easy enough, and then I'm just going to parallel the connections up. So there we go, now I'm just going to plug these cables into the Arduino. So I have the Arduino plugged into the computer, it's all powered up. Uh, now I'm using um, Gerbil controller and to move it I've just got it on uh, one centimetre in um, increments so it doesn't go shooting off too far in one direction and crash into the uh, side of the frame. So it's moving. Try ten centimeters. Yeah, so that seems to be working fine. So I'm just basically going to do that with the other two axes, wire them up, and plug it into the Arduino. Okay, so here we go, I've got all the axes wired up now, and uh, I've tested all the axes, and uh, I've just um, used the easel to just draw that up so you can just kind of like test it. I've got a pen on there. So we'll see if we can uh, draw that out or not. Okay, so that went pretty well. Got to say, um, I'll definitely give it a A plus, um, simply because that's better than my handwriting. Um, anyway, it all seems to be working fine. Uh, the stepper motor drivers did seem to be getting slightly warm to the touch, but I've uh, just uh, stuck a fan on there for now to blow a bit of cool air across, and they seem to be fine. Um, the stepper motors themselves, the Z axis, is slightly warm. And the 
X and Y axes are cool to the touch, so that's good. The uh, motor fields are permanently powered, so it doesn't lose step. So even when it's idle, um, the motors are unpowered. Yeah, so I can't really use the uh, router tonight because uh, it's like half past ten. I don't want to disturb the neighbours because uh, I've got a new baby. So uh, yeah, have to do that tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so far. All seems to be working okay. Obviously, I haven't. I mean, I haven't really actually checked the rails for squareness or anything at the moment because this is not going to be its final resting place. But I've got to say, this is actually a pretty sturdy design um, there's not a lot of flex in it at all and uh, this uh, z-axis um, section in the middle here is just uh, a work of art really the designer done a brilliant job on it and uh, yeah I'll put links in the description to where you can download the uh, 3d files to print these off and also to his website where he actually sells these parts um, pre-printed if anybody's interested and he also does it makes a um, it's called a low rider CNC and you can cut a full sheet of um, 4 foot by 8 foot with that. So yeah, go and take a look at his website anyway. <laughs> right, so that's it for now. So uh, please comment down below, tell me what you think of this. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe, uh, it would be much appreciated. And I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.